Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. This video is going to be packed with confirmation, all glory to our Father. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Ephesians 4, 6. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Yahuwah and Yahshua. And together, it's like Yeshua. And Yeshua is down by the moon under her feet when the woman is clothed with the sun. And Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, never lies. And he said the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And when you go to the sun, you can see the newest sunspot is 3412. And that means 3414 is going to be showing up here in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow. And Strong's Hebrew definition for 3414 is Yah. And the usage is Yah loosens which is very fitting and timely because I just went over it in the last video. This new comet, Nishimura, looks like it's loosening the bands of Orion. And Father showed me an asteroid named after Jesus Christ's grandpa, Mary's dad, Joachim. And we'll go over that. But first, there's signs in the moon too. And I've said it many times. Christina had a dream, and 725 was there, but no one could find 811. And people were freaking out, panicking, trying to find 811, but they couldn't. And in Russia, at 211 a.m. on 811, they launched Luna 25. And it's all over the internet. Articles saying that Luna 25 has crashed into the moon. And there's a lot of talk about this Russia-China alliance. And the heavens declare the glory of God. And the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And she, being with child, cried in pain to be delivered. And I've been showing you over and over and over that our Father is showing us that the child is about to be born. And the water is about to break. And this isn't astrology. This is astronomy. Russia is not a false god. And if one of these bodies in the heavens is a false god, I make it very known that they're fake gods. But this Revelation 12 picture is biblical. And I'm about to show you that the heavens declare the glory of God and that the signs are written in the stars. And as you can see, like I just said, Russia is on the water bearer, what they call Aquarius, right on the water, right next to Saturn. And we just went over it. There's a lot of talk about this Russia-China alliance. Well, they're right next to each other in the water bearer. The water is about to break. The child is about to be born. And we're about to be caught up. We are the child family. We're the body of Christ. And now I'm going to show you something extremely gigantinormous and very clear. And it's making this Revelation 12 sign, this painting, very clear. And I'm going to play this short clip from my last video, All Glory to Our Father. It's only 30 seconds long. And then I'll show you what happened after I put this video out, pointing to the coming of the Just One, Jesus Christ. And you guys already know, before I do the video, after I pray... I asked Jesus Christ to give me something in his word when I open the Bible. And then I read the first thing I see. You already know I've done it many times. And today it was Acts chapter 7 verse 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. So after I put this video out that night... I heard Father tell me, go on the desktop and search Stellarium. And I was like, I'm wiped out, Jesus Christ. And I heard, just go do it. And here's what happened. And I went back and started at Hanukkah, just like in the last video when I showed you and walked you through it. And I started going through the days, and then I heard, zoom in. So I zoomed in, and I started going through the days. And as I came up on Rigel, I noticed 
this asteroid would, crossing the path of Nishimuru. And what's gigantic, enormous about this, and I'll show you, this asteroid wood is not even in the asteroid belt. It shouldn't even be there. So it blew me away. I was like, wow, God, that's amazing. So I zoomed in a little bit more, and I backed up to get a closer look and started going forward again through the days, and I see IRAS, another asteroid out of the asteroid belt. And I was like, wow, Father, that's amazing. And remember, we're talking about loosening the bands of Orion. So the first thing I did was look at the asteroid wood. And I thought, that's exactly what they nailed our Savior, Jesus Christ, to. And I clicked on it. And you already know the meaning of wood. So I looked down, and it's also known as 1660 wood. And here's where it gets beyond gigantinormous. Our fathers got jokes. Yes, Strong's Greek 1660, the definition is a coming. And I started busting up laughing and praising him. And in Hebrew, it's a wine press. And I click on a coming. And the usage is a coming, arrival, advent. And I scroll down. To my surprise, there's only one occurrence. And it's Acts 752. The very verse that I read in the last video, family, you can't make this up. This is Jesus Christ. Which of the prophets have your fathers not persecuted? And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one. Jesus Christ. And I'm still in shock from him showing me child in the woman next to United Nations. And everything else biblical in the woman. And then he does this. Our father is so awesome. All glory to you, Abba. In the name above every name, Jesus Christ. It's time to go home. And then I look up Iras. And it means watchful. No joke. Ira is a gender neutral name of Hebrew origins. Found both in the Torah and Bible. The name translates to watchful. Can you hear what he's saying to you, family? If thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief in the night, and you will not know what hour I will come upon thee. And then I looked up the number of this asteroid, 3728 Iris. And Strong's Greek 3728 is affirmation, an oath. And I just went over it. Jesus Christ never lies. So be watchful. And what I'm about to show you is off the charts. Watch this. And I'm going to walk you through all three. And we'll start with the comet, Nishimura. And as you go through the days, you can see I showed you in the last video. It flies by that comet, 2022 ZTF. And as you can see, it looks like it's loosening the bands of Orion. And as it goes right past the top of Orion, it passes summer. Then this comet starts flying at like the speed of light all the way into the sign of Revelation 12. Boom, right there. And I'll back up the hours. And there it is in the constellation they call Virgo, the woman, when she's clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. And before I go over the next two, I'll show you what I mean about the asteroid belt. All these asteroids and what they call planets are all in the same asteroid belt. And as you go through the days, they all run together. And I use Thyra because Thyra means door. So anyways, it's very odd that these two asteroids are out of the asteroid belt, crossing the path of this new comet. It can only be God's odds. And I'll start with the asteroid wood. And remember, it's 1660 wood. And strong 1660 means coming of the just one, Jesus Christ. And as you go through the days, after it passes this new comet, you could see it's moving back into the asteroid belt. And as you go through the days, you can see that it starts running with Venus, what they call the bright morning star. Then Venus flips around, Mercury flips around, and right on the Revelation 12 sign, it's sitting right there. The coming of Jesus Christ. You can't make this up. Not only did this new comet go straight into the Revelation 12 sign, pointing it out, so did this asteroid wood. 
That means the coming of Jesus Christ. Now I'll take you to I-R-A-S in the same thing. It meets back up with all the wandering stars and meets back up and goes back into the asteroid belt through the constellations that all the planets, they call planets and wandering stars go through and the sun and the moon. And as you get to the Revelation 12 sign, as you can see, it's right there with the sun on 919 with Lydia clothing the sun. And remember, this asteroid, it means watchful. And here's what it looks like with everything together. As you can see, I-R-A-S, watchful, is right there, right by her eyes, right next to Lydia and the sun. Matthew 25, 13, watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. And that's not the second coming, family. <laughs> Everyone will know the second coming. It's a seven-year period. Everyone that's left behind will know the exact day that we come back with Jesus Christ. When the rapture happens, the watch is over. And as you can see right there, the asteroid wood is right next to Spica. And the asteroid wood means the coming of Jesus Christ. And as you can see, right under the asteroid Israel, he showed me the asteroid Solomon, like King Solomon, King David's son. And I showed you in the last video the asteroid Crimea and the asteroid Ukraine that they named after Ukraine. And I put the asteroid America in there too. That's right where it's at in the heavens. And right above Israel, he showed me an asteroid called Laban. It's right in the middle of the box. And when you look up Laban, the Bible meaning, it means white. The visual representation of purity without visible stain. And the only way to be white and spotless is to be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 1.18 like the 118th Jubilee year, like the 118th Jubilee that Israel 365 News has reported on. And one of their top, what they call rabbis, Mr. Fish, has been reporting for over a year. And this was last year. Now Israel's in the year 5,783. And I've been over this, but I'll run right back through it real quick. For example, 5,782, which is the 826 Mita year since the creation of the world. And I'll confirm that in Bible Strong's Concordance, Greek 826. The definition is to shine forth. Usage, I flash, gleam, shine forth, appear white, bright. But perhaps I see, see clearly, discern. And right under that, you could see, similarly, the Jubilee is the first year of the next Shemitah cycle. This has been true since creation. This year is 5,782 divided by 49 equals precisely 118, the 118th Jubilee. When the Day of Atonement starts, the Jubilee is over. The only thing that makes us clean is being washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lamb. Isaiah 118, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Laban means white. And is right in the middle of the Revelation 12 sign. And right above that is Leah, Marie. And Leah means weary. This is our Father's design. The heavens declare the glory of God. And we just went over Laban. And as you can see right there, Leah is the daughter of Laban, the sister of Rachel. And most of you know this. She was married to Jacob, but he favored her sister. But Leah loved Jacob. And since she was unable to conceive, she prayed about her situation. And father blessed her with Jacob's first son, Reuben. Then she had three more sons, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. This is our father telling everybody that the birth is about to happen. The child will be born and Jacob's trouble will start. And Marie, since the name is Leah Marie, and this is all tied together. Marie is from the Hebrew name Miriam, bitter or beloved. And just like Miriam, 
means Mary. Marie means Mary too, the mother of Christ. So Leah, Marie, Mary, Miriam, they all mean wished for child family. And that's what we're praying for. For us to be born and caught up to the throne. And it's about to happen. He's coming immediately. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And I'll wrap it up with this last asteroid that's down by her feet, down by Yeshua, down by the shedding of blood, down by the moon, Seraphina. And when you look up Seraphina, the Bible meaning, it means burning ones. And instantly you probably think of hell. But the truth is, Seraphina is a girl's name of Hebrew origin. The name translates to burning ones, are in reference to the seraphim from the Jewish scriptures. The seraphim are the highest ranking angels of God and are known for their intense passion and zealous love. Imagine that, and I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father, in your name, above every name. Jesus Christ, we love you. And there used to be eight but now there's seven. And you know Michael and Gabriel and Raphael. And there's Jeremel, Ragel, Zerakel, and Ramel. And Lucifer used to be one, but he lost his rank and position when he sinned and was thrown down to earth. And he's mad because he knows we're about to be caught up. We're out of here. And what our father is saying in the picture that he's painting can't be denied. It's the clearest rapture picture biblically that we've ever seen. And again, I'll never say a rapture date. And I'm not saying that the rapture is on September 19th, but it could be. But what I am saying is the Revelation 12 sign is on September 19th. For a fact, we've never seen confirmation or a picture like this. And it's the last time we'll see it. So be watchful and strengthen the things that remain. We're about to fly.